right up in here trying to get some stuff cleaned up so I'm putting loom on everything so I kind of like the convoluted tubing so I'm looming it all up you can see the various wires and stuff and I'm just getting them all loomed up so when I run them you know they don't just be black and dirty and all that and I'll see how it look if I like the way it look I'll leave it if not I'll change it but for right now just with them just laying all over the place they look all right to me and then uh, I'm putting my uh, getting my charcoal canister and everything put in and that's that piece right there and you can see the the holes coming off of it right here and this is the purge valve so this is what sends vapor to your uh your intake so it can burn because fuel vapor is very explosive and it'll help you save gas so this is the smog system that's my small pump right there and then you got the valve coming off of it and then you got the little holes and then that's a, those two pieces right there are check valves one goes to the back of the heads and then the other one will go down to the exhaust and what it does is it pumps fresh air into the exhaust to not to make it to where it's not as dirty coming out and then this this hose right here is coming off of that purge valve so this one is going to carry the fuel vapor around around the back and once the once the intake is sitting up here right here then this hose will hook into the intake you know it'll be like right here or whatever so once it wants to get the intake on so i'm just getting everything ran and uh just trying to you know do what i do so I'll be able to put the intake on in a minute, but I just want to get all the wiring situated and see what I'm going to do and how I'm going to make it happen and all that. And then um, I already got the, the fuel supply line done. I got the vapor line done. And uh, once I put the pressure fuel pressure regulator on, which is this piece here, this is my fuel pressure regulator and I'll be able to regulate my fuel pressure with this and I'm thinking like you got the driver side strut tower over there you see it's just full of stuff over there and then you got this passenger side one and I was thinking about mounting it right here and uh that way when you raise the hood you can see it but the intake will be on here and then you'll have the cold air intake coming off from right here and coming over here to the to the wall so I was thinking putting this right here and that'll be a good place to place it because my MSD box is gonna go where the battery used to be so once I figure all that out then I'll be able to run the return line, the fuel return line uh, to the back. So I don't want to do any of that until I know exactly how much length I'm going to need. But that's where I am. If I like the way it come out, I'll leave it. If I feel like I want to wrap it a little differently, I'll do that. But I'm just out here messing around, seeing what I can do. Put my crash sensors in. This is These are what deploys the airbags. Where do you see that blue? That's, the, that's one of the crash sensors. There's another one right here in the middle, and then there's another one over on that side. You can see the, the blue tube coming off of that one. So I've just been just out here cleaning up, wiring, and, you know, making it look better than, you know, 30 years old. So this is where I'm at. All right. I've been up under the car. I got my sway bar end links in. I had to pull a bumper to get that that uh that uh that crash sensor in because it, uh, for whatever reason I couldn't spin it into place, so I pulled the bumper out a little bit and then I replaced the brackets because I had scratched up black ones on here. And now I got the metal ones on there, 
So I replace both of those. Uh, got the fans in tight because at the bottom it wasn't drilled, so I drilled a new hole and got that in. So I'm getting there. In a minute, I'll be laying the wiring harness in here and putting the engine computer back in. And then once I do that, I'll throw the upper intake on and start running all the vacuum lines. I put the vacuum block up right there. So that's where all the vacuum uh, hoses are going to end up going. And there where you see that circle at on the brake booster, I got to put a check valve in there. And I'm pretty much getting there. Still got to yank the dash out and replace the heater core and a... Um, and the, uh, the, ev uh, the evaporator. I already got the condenser in behind the radiator. And those are the little lines that go for the AC unit. I got new lines for that and all that. So all that stuff is going to get ran up in here. And uh, in a minute, I'll be able to fire up with AC and everything. All right, y'all. I'm out. I'm going in the house.